Now let's go ahead and work on the routes for the application and then start using this. So I'm gonna go in the source folder and expand it. And let me expand this a little bit more. So now what I want to do is I want to create another folder and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little. So I'm gonna create another folder inside of the source folder and I'm just gonna call it route. That's gonna be where all of our routes are going to be. And then inside of this route folder, I'm gonna create the patient.route.js file. So let's make this full screen. And this is gonna be pretty easy. And the first thing we need to do is to import express. Oops. So import express from, this is coming from express. And then we need to import everything that we just created. So import, and we need to put opening and closing curly braces. And let's do get patient. And we need to get the create patient and get one patient delete patient and then update patient okay so we're gonna get all of these and they're supposed to come from our file so from and then we need to go up one directory we need to go to controller forward slash patient controller.js and then close this now we need to call the router so let's do const and we're gonna call this patient routes so that's going to be all the patient routes and we have to set it equal to express that router so that's going to be uppercase make sure you get that right and then save so patient routes is what i'm calling it so that's where all the patient routes are going to be and we're calling the express that router and then the next thing i want to do is to call that patient route so patient routes and we're gonna start routing stuff so we're gonna call the route so what we want to do is to go to forward slash Actually, this is supposed to be a string. So forward slash. So for forward slash, uh, let's dive in. I want to have a get. And then for this get, I want to call the get patient. So we're going to say get patients. And then I want to have another one for post. So post request. And then we're going to call the create patient. So create patient. All right. And that's all we have to do. So what we're doing here is we're chaining all of the requests together. And that's something you can do with Express Router. So technically what I'm saying is we're going to have a route, which is going to be forward slash. It can accept a get request, which should go to the get patients. And it can also accept a post request, which is going to go to create patient. And then I need another route. So I'm going to do patient, oops, patient route. And then we're going to route again. And this time I want to go to forward slash and then passing a dynamic ID. So that's going to be ID. And for this, so we're going to go to the root of the application. So forward slash. And then I want to do a get request. So we're going to have another get request with the ID this time. And that's going to go to get patient. So without the S because we need the ID for that one. And then we're going to have a put that's going to be for the update patient. So update patient. And then the last one is going to be a delete. So a delete request. And that's going to go to the delete patient. Okay, so you can see how this is all coming together very nicely and then save. And you don't have to chain them like this. You can actually have them line by line. But I think it's a little bit more elegant when you have it that way. So back to line six, all we're doing here. Well, let's go to line four. Well, actually, let's go from the beginning. So here, what we're doing is importing Express because that's where the router library is. And then we're importing all of our functions. And then we're creating this constant. So that's the patient routes constant. And you do this by calling the Express router, which is what we're doing here on line four. And then here we call route. So this is how we're going to route different requests with different methods to different functions. And then for the forward slash, so for the root of the route, so the root of the application, if this is in a get request without an ID, then it's going to go to get patients. So that's going to give him the list of all the patients. If this is in a post request, which is being done on line eight, then it's expecting a request body to create a patient because that's what the post is for. So you send a post request, you're trying to post something or create something on the server side. And then we have another route, which is going to go to forward slash. So for forward slash and then whatever ID that they pass. If it's a get request, then it's going to go to get patient. If it's a put request, then it's going to go to the update patient. And then if it's a delete, then it's going to go to the delete patient. So that's pretty simple, very easy to configure these routes, even though they can get really complicated, but Express makes it really, really easy to work with these routes. So now we can take these routes and then edit in our main application file where the entry point of the application is.